Hello guys, welcome back to the learning Umbraco CMS and today in this video I would like to show you how to do the debug in the uh, Visual Studio and also IS instance server okay so basically when you are working on a website project and if you are just open your Visual Studio and run your source code over the Visual Studio and after that if you run the project over the Visual Studio so it will automatically create an instance of the of, of the IS server for you to uh, run the website but when you close but when you close the visual studio you cannot run the website anymore okay so in order to make the the, the website the uh, only way available for everyone to access it so you should hosting it under the IIS server okay so now it if you want to debug the, the, the short code from the IS server and uh, see it under the Visual Studio. So I think a lot of people don't know how to do it. And that's why today in this video, I would like to show you how to do it. Okay, let's get started. And this one is the website we are working on. This is the Umbraco website. Okay. And now I will open the Visual Studio to open the short code of this website. Okay. And here, if now I just uh, run this website, so uh, uh, you can see we are able to run it over the uh, an instance of the IS server. Okay. So if you are running it over the Visual Studio, so it will take the time for uh, initial the IS server temporary for you to run the website. Yeah, you can see here for now this website is running under the local hot with the port one 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 zero five. It's still working fine. Okay. However, but now if I close it, Visual Studio, I stop it. So you can see now we, we didn't see the instance of the Chrome here to display the website under the local hot. Yeah. So now, in order to keep the website on on way available for everyone to access, so we should uh, set up it under the IS IS server. Okay, and now, for example, if you want to debug to see the how to get the data for this introduction text here from the Umbraco and how to do it. Okay, so you come back to the. Visual Studio and open the short code of the banner, hero banner. Okay. And here you can see here we are displaying the interaction data from the Umbraco here and display on the website. Okay. And we have also the hero banner. There is a image background here under uh, it behind of the interaction text. Okay, so now I want to see the content of this hero banner and what did I, it what it look like when we getting the data from the Umbraco CMS. Okay, so the, now let's go ahead to set up breakpoint here. Okay, and you can see here in the menu of the Visual Studio we have 
under the debug we have the attack to processes here click on this one and click on this one and you can see here we have an instance of the vcap 3 vcap p is running there is an instance of the uh, of is server is running on the window pc okay so for now in order to debug the uh, website under the is server in visual studio so you have to open the visual studio with the admin privilege so for now i'm op open the admin with the default account there is not the admin so now that's why i cannot see the user name information here and after i click on the attack button here so it will ask me to restart under the different credential i should select this one yet after you click on it button so you you are running the uh, visual studio under the administrator account okay you can see here on the top there is the umbra training microsoft visual studio administrator okay cool and now you click on the debug attack to process process here you can see open this yes you can see here we have vcap 3 vcap p it's running under the username e the IAD application pool braco.local yeah you click on it attack okay so now i will open the is it in first and umbraco.local there is my website i'm running you open the advanced setting yeah you can see it is the, uh, the application pool of this website is the umbraco.local you can see it here under the application pool umbraco.local and now you back to the visual studio sorry debug again yeah so you can see here the umbraco.local here there is the application pool name for the eastern of the website click on attack attack okay and now we back to the web page and refresh this one Okay, try run it again. Attack to process. So because we have just run the project under the Visual Studio and uh, make it make it make it run it on the local hot. So now when we when we come back to the uh, website with an an, an instance of IS server, so it the connection setting will be reset. Braco dot local attack attack refresh again yeah you can see here for now we are able to debug it under the visual studio okay so now i want to see the data of the hero banner i will select this one 
OK. Right click on it and select Quick What. Yes. You can see here we have the value of the Umbraco dot view hero banner. The other media one zero three one slash banner dot z p i p z p z. Okay, close it. And you can do the same thing with other. Okay, so I think that's all for today. And after if you finish this video, you know how to do the uh, attack debugger in in Visual Studio into the uh, an instance of the IIS server with the website. I hope that helped and feel free to let me know if you see any issue. Bye bye. Talk to you later.